<sighs> the Tricky Triangle celebrates its 50th anniversary. The Pocono Doubleheader, we saw a dramatic finish. And, boy, is a certain driver making a case for a comeback driver of the year? Coming up on Post Checker Flag. Hey everyone, Mike from LA1 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting off with Pocono, the double header. And I'm not going to lie, Pocono is one of my, un probably the most underrated track on the NASCAR schedule. Especially the first truck cup race. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. But first, we got the trucks in Xfinity to talk about. Let's get it on. Let's get to the results from the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for a long delay. Here is the your top 10 for the CRC Brackleen 150 at Pocono. Here we go. In 10th place, we have Derek Krause, who I do expect he'll be in this year's game. In NASCAR 21, whatever it's going to be called. In 9th place. Ryan Priest in the 17. In 8th place, Zane Smith. In 7th place, the first truck driver to win at the Circuit of the Americas, Todd Gilliland. In 6th place, the grandfather of the, of the truck series, Matt Crafton. In 5th place, we have Austin Hill. In fourth place, a really solid day for a guy who's really on the hot seat, in my opinion. Tyler Ankrump. In third place, your defending champion of the Trucks Champions, Sheldon Creed. And in fourth and second place, almost at fourth again, Kyle Busch. And in first place, continuing his dominant season, dominant season. John Hunter Nemechek. All right, let's see how everyone else finished. This right here. Josh Berry finishing 11th. Christian Eckes, 12th. Carson Hofer 13th. Ty Majeski coming back, 15th. Let's see. Ray Cicerelli back again, I see. 23rd. Hallie Deegan struggled, 26th. But the next truck race, she's probably the odds on favorite because, spoiler alert, they're going to Knoxville. Knoxville, Iowa. And the only teams that had issues were Jack Wood, who had it, who was involved in an accident. Transmission issues for Danny Bone. Bailey Curry had, and Ryan Enfinger both had engine issues. Other than that, that was pretty much it. Let's get to the truck standings real quick. Because we're less than a few minutes away before the Xfinity race starts at uh, Road America. Alright, here we go. Let's start with the truck series. In first place with 2,000... Oh, wait a minute, hold up. Why is it starting with the playoffs for some reason? Wait, no, it's here. All right, in first place with 575, John Hunter Nemechek. In second place with 489, Ben Rhodes. In third place with 408, it is Todd Gilland. Um, uh, hold on a second, folks. I'll be right back. Or right, so it must be a glitch with my notes. In fourth place with the... In fourth place. With 406, you're the defending champion, Sheldon Creed. In the All right. In fifth place with four twenty eight, the GMS Phenom Zane Smith. And in sixth place with 489, 
Oh, it's 469, excuse me. Let's hope I can limit my mistakes today. Austin Hill. In seventh place with 392, the grandfather of the Tampa World Truck Series, Matt Grafton. In eighth place with 350, the Canadian Destroyer, Stuart Friesen. In ninth place with 335, it's Carson Hovachar. Yeah, Carson Hovachar. And in and in tenth place with 314 is Chandler Smith, who's not in the game. I got a feeling he will be in next in NASCAR 21. All right, let's get to the Xfinity. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the po the results for the Pocono Green 225 recycled by J.P. Mass Card and Sons. Boy, is that a long name for a race? At least it's not as bad as beef. It's what's for dinner. All right, let's get this going. In tenth place, we have Matt Snyder. In ninth place, in the thirty-one, Josh Berry. And in uh, eighth place, Jeff Burton. In seventh place, in seventh place, we have Brandon Jones. And in, in sixth, and in sixth place, Daniel Hemrick. In fifth place, the Royal Course legend AJ Allmendinger. And in fourth place, great rebound. From the Las Vegas mobster known as Noah Gregson. And damn it, there goes my notes. In third place, a, another good day for Junior Motorsports. It is Justin Allgaier. And in second place, Ty Gibbs dominating again. And in first place, boy, it's been a while since we've seen him in victory, this guy in victory lane. In first place, Austin Sendrick. It's been a while since we've seen Sendrick in victory lane. And everyone's been winning left and right these days. All right, let's take a look. Let's see some of the big names. Santino Ferrucci came back. Another top 15 for him. Good Lord, he's doing good. Brett Moffitt, 11th. Jeremy Michael Annette, 12th. Jeremy Clemens, 13th. Sam Mayer, 18th. Man, Ferrucci may have a good future in NASCAR after all, if he decides to go full-time. All right, we got a lot of major incidents here. Josh Williams got into an incident. Ryan Vargas was involved with the really terrifying crash by Justin Haley, who ended up having to be, spoiler alert, had to be replaced in the second race of the Cup Series. We'll get to that in a minute. The crash was so bad that Spire Motorsports had the precaution took him out of the, car, the cup race on Sunday, which I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. Harrison Burton was also involved, just barely. Joey Gase had a clutch issue. Riley Herbst got into an accident. Okay, seriously, how is this guy, How did this guy get a cup ride again? Nikita Mazepin has more of a... Nikita Mazepin is a better driver than this guy. Jeez. Blake Perkins had a suspension issue. Jeez, that's how many? This is like two races in a row where someone had a had a suspension issues. Jeez, Louise. And Jesse Uigi finished thirty first. But honestly, you have to get through the growing pains, I guess. All right, let's get to the Xfinity standings before the race starts. All right, here is the top ten for the Xfinity series. And no, we're not. We're gonna. We're gonna do this the correct way. In first place, with six hundred and eighty points, it is Austin Sendrick. And in second place, with five forty seventy nine, AJ Allmendinger. In third place, with five thirty two, Justin Allgaier. And in fifth place, I mean fourth place. Excuse me. With five sixty,
five sixty. Wait a minute, something's not right here. Well, it's oh my god, I'll be right back. The notes is glitching up. I don't know. Should I go over the points from here on in? Because the notes are getting confused. All right, I'm gonna have to go back in order now. In third place is Daniel Hamrick. With 568, Justin uh, Justin Allgaier is in fourth with 532. Jeez, the way this is confusing, I don't know. Fourth, yeah, fourth place is Justin Allgaier. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do better for Road America. Jeez, this is pissing me off. I don't know about you guys. All right, here we go. Oh, oops. In a fifth place with 512, Harrison Burton. And in sixth place with 493, it's Jeb Burton. And in seventh place with 462, Brandon Jones. And in 8th place with 458. Get well soon. Just Justin Haley. Which I think he's raising today I believe. So hopefully he, he stays on his game. In ninth place with 437. Noah Gregson making a big move. And in 10th place with 413. It's Michael Lynette. Who's really on Junior Motorsports hot seat? Now we got we got two up. Now we got that out of the way, with my notes kind of screwing up in a way. I'll promise to do better next time with the note my notes. In a way, we got two cup races to discuss. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's, here's your top ten for the Pocono Arcanist CBD 325 at Pocono race number one of the Pocono double header. In 10th place, we have the Michigan Racing Wolverine, Brad Keselowski. In 9th place, Kyle Larson. We'll talk about his day in a moment. In 8th place, the only consistent driver for Stuart Haas, Kevin Harvick. In 7th place, Joey Logano. What his future is going to hold, we don't know. We'll talk more about that in the next Post Checker Flag, which will air which will air first thing tomorrow morning. And, whoops. There goes my notes. <laughs> In sixth place. Kurt Busch. We'll be talking to more about this in the next episode of Post Checker Flag in the morning as well. In fifth place, the master of Blaney Right Infringement, Ryan Blaney. In fourth place, Mr. Consistency, Denny Hamlin. And in third place, we have the Charlotte Baron, William Byron. In second place, Rowdy Kyle Bush. And in first place, getting win number three and an amazing breakout year for Alex Bowman. Yeah, we gotta have to talk about that finish because Kyle Larson again was dominating. Boy, Larson is kind of like the Lewis Hamilton of, of NASCAR, isn't he? But he pulled the cars. In cars one, his tire went out, went flat. He hit the wall. Alex Bowman was closing in on him, passed him, and he won the race. And he was Larson was one turn away. From victory. Oh my god. That is heartbreaking. But he's still got a top 10. So if there's any consolation. Well that and the Hendricks win streak continued. But oh man. That is brutal. Hopefully no young driver has to go through that bitter pill to, of, of a loss. Chase Elliott finished 12th. Tyre Reddick 11th. Daniel Suarez 13th. Bubba Wallace 14th. Pretty solid day for Bubba. Ricky Stenhouse 15th. Amarola 16th. 
And the only drivers that had major issues were Cole Custer and Ryan Newman in a big, really big crash. And now let's talk about race two before we get to the point standings. Hopefully it's not as confusing as the other ones are. Oh, I like this name. Here's the top ten for the Explore the Pocono Mountains 350. In tenth place, we have... Joey Logano. In ninth place, Tyler Reddick. Man, good day. Speaking of drivers with good days, in eighth place, Ryan Priest. In seventh place, the Alpha mentioned Alex Bowman. So we got a win and a top ten in Pocono. Very good job. Good job. And in sixth place, the master of Blaney Wright infringement, Ryan Blaney. And in fifth place, stay mad, haters, Bubba Wallace. Scoring 23 11s, not only 23 11s first top 10, but 23 11s first top 5. Overall, a really great day for the team and a great way to bounce back. And let's be honest, if you, let's be honest I did not see this coming at all. All right, back to the list before I go off here. In uh, fourth place, Kevin Harvick, continuing the consistency. In third place, Brad Keselowski. In second place, Kyle Larson, good rebound. And in first place, Rowdy Kyle Bush. Kyle Bush is back. And yeah, it's funny because out of the top 10, top 10, only Kyle and Bubba, Bubba Wallace are the only Toyotas in the top 10, which is insane. Martin Truex 11th, William Byron 12th, and oh, I gotta. Whoever came up with that Exalta pay scheme for Byron should be Fargus. Oh, that was terrible. And I might be doing a top 10 worst uh, paint scheme list. Let me know if you guys want to hear that one. Denny Hamlin, 14th. Daniel Suarez, 15th. We'll talk more about Trackhouse in a little bit because it's... Boy, did they get some bomb dropped. McDowell, 17th. Chase Elliott, 27th. Oh, boy, he struggled. Christopher Bell, 32nd. And Ricky Stenhouse had an engine problem and Timmy Hill had... had handling issues. And Garrett Smithley, the only time I'm mentioning him... He also had a blown engine. Now, let's get to the point standings so we can wrap this up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here are the point standings. In first place, with 761, Denny Hamlin. In second place, with five, 759, it's Kyle Larson. And in third place, with 690, it is William Byron. In fourth place with 651, it's Joey Logano. In fifth place with 650 is this week's last week's winner. Kyle Bush in sixth place with 633, your defending champion, Chase Elliott. In seventh place with 606 points, Martin Truex Jr. In eighth place with 586, the master of Blaney Wright infringement, Ryan Blaney. In ninth place, with 585, the only consistent good driver in Stuart Haas, Kevin Harvick. And in tenth place, with 569, Brack Islowski. That's it for Post Checker Flag. There's another episode coming up in a little bit, so stay, stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks to see you guys. Post Checker Flag.
next Pot Race review, Road America. Thanks for watching, everyone.